In this video tutorial, I will talk about jQuery autocomplete and how to do it from scratch. Hey, what's up guys? Sinead here from codingpassiveincome.com, the place where I help others to become a web developer much easier and faster than they will do it on day own. So, if that is something that interests you, consider subscribing. So before we even start with this tutorial, like always, I'm going to explain the basics that you need to understand for this tutorial. So the goal of this tutorial is to create one input. This will represent some search query and we will use jQuery to set up some events, let's say here, key even so anytime that a visitor put a focus to this search query and then press anything on his keyboard we will detect it by using key up even and then in the jQuery plus Ajax we will use it to send all the data to the PHP okay and then from the PHP we will use that information and send it to the MySQL database okay, and check if there is any similar result in the database and if there is or it doesn't matter if there isn't whatever the result is we will use PHP again to return to the jQuery and then with the jQuery we are going to manipulate this data here so we will once we return the response from php below here let's say like this we will show what we have in our database so if we for example have some data we will display it here by using lists and if we don't we will say here no records found okay and this is just what is jQuery autocomplete. So anytime when the visitor enter something here, small pop-up will be here and we will have the result, whatever it is. But this is just how we need to do it. And now, before I even start the tutorial, I want to explain the last thing. And it is the query that we will need to use inside MySQL that will just find all similar results. So the query is select some column name, let's say name from and here we need to specify the table name, so let's say country where and we can use the column again name like and here we need to specify what you are looking for and we will say percent some query percent again so what does it mean anytime when we use percent okay it means that anything before this will be ignored and anything after this will be ignored so if a visitor entered just one character two five it doesn't matter we are going to search only for that few characters we are not look, looking for the entire name so once again it is select column name from table name where column name like our search query and that's it it's very simple so let me now show you how to do it so now I'm here at my PHP store and I have created a new M2 project, PHP Autocomplete. Also I have images folder, there is just loading.gif file. I have resources, this is country SQL file. Let me show you what it is. So basically I have just written two queries. This query will create an M2 table with the name country and 
here is the insert command for the MySQL and it will just insert some countries okay there is 50 countries or so on just for the purpose of this tutorial so I'm going just to import this file and if you need if you need the code of this tutorial you can find it in the descriptions below it will include an SQL file, this loading, etc. And also, I have an M2 index.php file. Also, I have started my XM server. So, this is just the default setup that you need for some project, nothing special. So, now I'm going to create new database. I will say jQuery auto complete. I will choose here UTF 8. Unicode C and I'm going to import this country SQL file. Okay, go and everything is looking good. So now we have one table country and there are some countries. So the first thing that we are going to do is we will create a normal HTML document. So I will start by typing HTML head in the head I will have only the title let's say autocomplete and in the body okay so uh, we will need one input so I, I can say input type will be text let's say placeholder will be search query and id i will say search box okay and that's it now we need to include jquery library so i will just go to the code.jquery.com and here you have all the versions of the jQuery I'm going to use the latest so I'll just use the minify and you all you need to do is to copy this part here or to click on this button here whatever you like and I'm going to paste it just before the closing body tag and now we are going to write of course the jQuery code so I will say tag JavaScript and now I'm going to say dollar sign document dot ready function and what is this meaning? It means that we will wait until the document is loaded, which means all HTML elements are loaded. PHP has finished whatever it does. And now we are starting to use the jQuery and set up some events on the HTML elements. So on the search box, like I said on my whiteboard, uh, we will set up, so let's say search box and we will set up key up event. We can use on key up or key up, whatever you like, function. And here we are going just to write the code. So I will say console log and we are going to get so I can do like this just to make it simple to understand. Var query equal this, which means we are creating query variable, and inside this query variable we will put the data that is inside this search box so we are using hashtag which means id this one and then the name of this id which is this and we are calling the method wall so now let's try just to use the console log to print whatever is inside this query so let me now try to open this I have made 
a mistake. I said PHP autocomplete instead of jQuery, but ignored. So let's see, will this work? And as you can see now, you can see what is happening. Each time when we press the key on our keyboard, we will get whatever is inside this search box and we are going to display it right here inside the console lock. So this is just very simple and easy to do. So now what we need to do, we need to validate this query. So what I usually do in my projects, I'm expecting at least two or three characters because I don't to send so many requests to our server. So I can say if query dot length bigger than two, which means we expecting three characters, we will do this. Otherwise, we are not going to do anything. So we can test that too. Let's see. So as you can see now, there is one character and nothing is happening. There is two characters, nothing is happening. There is three characters and there is ASD. So let me just... I have this plugin here that is making those console locks. Let me now test. And as you can see now, only the three plus characters will be there. Which is the way to prevent overload of our server. And here we need to write AJAX code that will send the data to the PHP and then inside PHP we are going to accept and check in the database. So we will say here AJAX and here we are going to create an object and let's say we will need URL which is I will use the same file index.php we will need some method I will use post we can use post or get there is some data that we need to send so I can say here search one I'm sending this just to know in PHP that I'm doing Ajax call and here I'm going to send the data so I can say query and that's it that is enough and then I'm going to use success function data so what this means is if this ajax call is success the part of the code that is here okay will be executed okay and down here i'm going to say data type that will be returned by the php i will just say text okay and now let's say here console log data whatever the php returned and now let's write the PHP code. I will do it just here. And I will say if is it post search when we send an Ajax to the PHP, we will expect search. And if is set, we will execute the part of the code here. So we can for now say response equal no data found and you can see he exit which means it will stop executing this page and will return to the ajax this response so let's just test this part I'm going to refresh so now i will say like this and says no data found and in the network we can see what we, what has happened. We have sent, as you can see, we have created the Ajax call and set the data to the index.php file. And here is the response. Okay, which means that this part 
is looking good. We have created a search box, we are using jQuery for this and we are sending the call to the PHP. So now inside PHP I'm going just to connect to our database so I will say connection equal new my SQLE and inside here our host is localhost our username is root our password is an M2 and here I'm going to specify the database name so like we said that our database name is jQuery autocomplete so I'll say jQuery autocomplete and that's it now here we need to accept this query so I will create new variable query and I'm going to say it will be post query okay and now this query we need to escape just to protect from the MySQL injection so we will say here real escape string and here that's it so now this is the basic protection but in the most cases it will do the job and now we need to execute SQL query that I have written on the whiteboard to see do we have any similar results so I will say SQL equal connection query and I will say here select name from country where name like and here is two times percent and between I will say query if SQL number of rows bigger than zero we will execute this part here which means if there is some data inside our table we are going to execute this part of the code and here before we do that I want to create a list so I can say here all and I'm going to close those two just to show what I want so here I will declare one div id response and we are not going to print the data inside the console we will say response dot html so in, when php returns something we will inside this div put all the data so let's just quickly test what I want to accomplish so let's say here it says no data found which is what our what we are looking to do so let me now just make this a little bit nicer so I will write quickly style style text Okay, and here I will just say load left list style none. Let's say padding zero pixels. So let's see what is the result. So it's now looking much better and now let's declare just a border let's test this again
So this is just the basic CSS just to make it look nicer. Okay, nothing special. So now it looks much nicer. And now let's get to the PHP again. So now if we have some of the data inside database, I will say here while let's say first response equal like this and like this and inside here we'll see while data equal sql fetch array I will say here response dot equal it means we are doing concatenation of the string and I will say here like this and here I will say we will concatenate data and now the name of our column which means we are everything from this row putting in, into this and we are accessing because it is an array we will access the data here and now let's make a test you will see here it says no data found but let's see it's some country name and it's as you can see now in the pop-up, it says Afghanistan because we have this query. We can change this here, let's say bigger than one or bigger than zero just to make sure because we don't have a lot of countries. So as you can see when we press A, this is the list of all the countries. If we say like this because he in the Albania there are two characters because we are using percent it will re re remove all the all the characters before and the after so that is why we are getting this but if we continue to type as you can see it will filter only what we are looking for so if we try something else okay there isn't we try like this so now this is just auto complete and now the last thing that we need to do as you can see now I can click on this and nothing is going to happen so I'm going to set up so, some event so when someone click here it will automatically select that and it will remove this pop-up so we can see it here document dot on so I will say here click on a Lee you will call a function and let's say here what we will read so I will say this which means I'm pointing on this exact element in the list so let's say I will say war country equal this dot text and this time I'm not using the bold because I want to read this here inside so this is not an input so I can't use a method wall like I did here so and let's say inside search box I will put this I will say country and also I'm go going to clear this response so I will say response dot html empty and let's test this and if I now click for example on this one it will select and it will re remove the rest but 
what we will need we also it will be better if there is Lee power so let's say text or just we can say color let's say silver so now when we do this and if we go as you can see now it follows our mouse okay we can also say background so let's say like this and now it is looking really nice it follows our mouse and also if we click click it will select and remove all others so now we can start typing we'll find okay let me do it slower and it works really nice and this is it okay so this is guys I hope so very simple tutorial there isn't a lot to understand in this tutorial but you need to follow some rules and apply some basic things so if you have any questions please post in the comments below and I will make sure to go through all of them and as answer all your questions and if you like this tutorial please like it and share it to your friends take care